Hi children, welcome back again to our language class. I hope that you've had fun with our previous lessons. And speaking of which, I hope you still remember the lessons that we have already discussed, namely common and proper nouns and the use of A or N plus noun. Now for this afternoon, we're going to talk about another kind or type of nouns. So let's move on now to the objectives of this lesson. In our lesson today, we hope to recognize mass and count nouns. And for you to give, be able to give examples of mass and count nouns, and to use correct counters for given mass nouns in a sentence. But before we go to our new lesson, let us take a look back at our previous lessons. So what do we call the names of persons, places, animals and things yes we call them as nouns nouns are the naming words but aside from that we also discussed the two kinds of nouns so what are the two kinds of nouns children so first we have common nouns and the other one is proper nouns common nouns are the general names and it begins with a small letter proper nouns are the specific names or the exact names and they always begin with a big letter now kids in this lesson we are going to learn new types of nouns aside from nouns being common and proper we also have what we call as count and mass nouns so together let us learn what these nouns are Now let's begin with what we call as count nouns. Count nouns are basically the nouns that you can count individually. Examples of count nouns. Animals as big as giraffe. Or we can talk about things just like toys. Or we can also say pencil, which is another thing or books so just remember count nouns are basically the nouns that you can directly count one by one and these are the nouns that comes with a plural form now, as i've mentioned count nouns are the nouns that have plural form or they are also the nouns that you can use with a or an so other examples of count nouns Okay, so I have here some singular examples of nouns like pineapple, cucumber, strawberry, and grape. Now, on the other side, you have here the plural form of these nouns from the left side. Now, these are examples of count nouns. Now, this time, let us talk about what we call as mass nouns. Mass nouns are basically the nouns that you cannot count individually but still can be measured. Examples of these mass nouns are the objects or the nouns that you see in this slide. For example, you have the rain, the sea or the ocean, the salt or the rice. Just try to imagine if I ask you, can you count the grain of rice or can you even count the rain that pours? No, right? That's why they are called mass nouns. Now, most food and liquids are mass nouns. Now, here are other examples of mass nouns. Okay, do you know her? Yes, yeah, she's the character from the movie Pocahontas. So she's the lead character there. Now, what are the mass nouns that you can see in this picture? Yes, exactly. You have the hair and the wind. These are examples of mass nouns. Now, the person itself, she's a count noun, of course. Now, other examples of mass nouns, you have milk, flour, salt, jam, rice, tea, sugar, meat, honey, and cheese. 
As I've said, mass nouns cannot be counted. But though they cannot be counted, they can be measured. Like pizza, sugar, chocolates, and soup. We use certain words to determine the amount of mass nouns that we have. Example, a slice of pizza, a spoonful of sugar, a box of chocolates, and a bowl of soup. The words a slice of, a spoonful of, a box of, and a bowl of are called counters or quantifiers. Counters or quantifiers are words used to determine the amount or measurement of a mass noun. So remember kids, mass nouns use quantifiers or counters to know how much a mass noun is. We may not be able to count mass nouns, but by using counters or quantifiers, we're able to measure and know how much a mass noun is. Here are other examples of mass nouns and counters. If you notice, most of the counters are based on the container of which the mass noun is placed. For example, a bottle of, a bottle of water. Here's another one, a bottle of ketchup. Since the ketchup is placed in a bottle, we use a bottle of as its counter. A bag of popcorn. So sometimes, we may use a bucket of popcorn. If the popcorn is placed in a bucket. But in this example, we have here a bag of popcorn. The other one is also a bag. A bag of chips. On the other picture, we have here a glass of. A glass of is a counter that you can use for both, for all these three examples of mass nouns, like milk, water, or lemonade. Same with a cup of or a mug of. Can be used for coffee, hot tea, or cocoa. We also have another one for a bottle of. For soda, juice, or even apple cider. And a pitcher of for juice, water, and lemonade. Again, counters or quantifiers are sometimes based on the container from which the mass noun is placed. And now that we have learned what mass noun and count nouns are, let's now do this. Identify the given nouns as count noun or mass noun. Let's have number one. Sand. Is sand a mass noun or a count noun? Yes, it is a mass noun. How about coin? Yep, it is a count noun. Pepper. Pepper is a mass noun. Mask. It is a count noun. How about air? Can you count air? Of course not. That is a mass noun. Number six. Soy sauce. Soy sauce is also a mass noun. Blanket. A blanket is a count noun. And last, camera. Of course, a camera is a count noun too. Let's try another one. This time, give the correct counter or quantifier for the following nouns. The first one is a blank of bread. Based on the picture, we say that this is a loaf of bread. How about this one? Oh, easy, right? It's a box of cereal. Number three, a blank of flour. It is a sack of flour. Another one. A blank of meat. This one is a kilo of meat. A blank of soap is a bar of soap. And lastly, a blank of ice cream 
Based on the picture is a scoop of ice cream. Well done, children. Good job. So again, children, what do we mean by count nouns and mass nouns? So hopefully you will not forget. When we say count nouns, these are the nouns that you can count individually. So these are the nouns that have plural forms, or you can use a or and before it. Or you can also put up or place a number before the noun. On the other hand, mass nouns are the nouns you cannot count, but can be measured. And we use counters or quantifiers to measure the amount of the mass nouns that we are using. So there you have it, children. That's it for our lesson today, mass nouns and count nouns. So see you again next time. Bye-bye. God bless you.